Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Fico, and today I'm going to be introducing a three part project that I'm doing, and basically about the Anthem debacle. That's what I'm calling it the Anthem debacle trilogy, <laughs> in which I basically broken it down into three parts the first part is basically give my thoughts on bioware anthem everything that has happened in the last couple of days uh, part two discuss the article that went out about two days ago on kotaku and also discuss bioware's response within minutes of this article coming out and part three is basically a question answer uh, from a game developer who doesn't work for Bioware, but um, she works uh, in uh, she works for a big publisher and works for a pretty well-known game development studio. Which I asked her if it was okay if I could have her read the article and also. Have her tell me a couple of things such as, you know, how things are in the industry and how things are with this particular incident that happened with Anthem and does she believe this is something that happens normally and other questions. There are a lot of questions. The format of that essentially is... I'd asked her and send her the questions and she's going to provide me hopefully with as many answers. Obviously, I am not going to be talking about her experiences pertaining to her where she currently is because I don't think I want to put her in any weak position. I don't want her to I don't want her to feel as though she is you know going to be afraid to lose her job which is something that you shouldn't at all be doing like i understand i work for a corporation and i know that i can't say the inner workings that happen and it's because there are rules you cannot reveal what you do out in public obviously but the idea isn't to talk about the inner workings of her company, but basically kind of the inner workings of the game industry in comparison to other industries. And we're going to get to that in a little more. So part one, it's going to be mainly just a free form, just me talking. And then I aim to do part two on Saturday. And then... Well, from there, it's going to be like a live cast, which I'm going to be taking about two hours, breaking down every piece, giving my opinions live. And then the third part, I hope that it'll be available as soon as um, she gets back to me with the answers, which I just got her the questions today. So we'll see what happens. So, okay. So. What I am talking about, essentially, is the unfortunate debacle that has come to basically reality. It's, it's the realization that a company is not as good as they claim they are. and completely in tatters and a company which you've come to love and accept and anticipate the love has sort of waned but I'll talk about that in a little bit in a little bit but on Tuesday April the 2nd the, uh, Jason Schreier from Kotaku released a I think it's like an 11 thousand word 
report titled How Bioware's Anthem Went Wrong. And this has been one of Jason's biggest bombshell articles, and I've read it about twice. And it's a pretty, pretty devastating account of how a seven year old project came to be and pretty much just nothing came out of it and all the reasons why when you saw the coverage of this game being overwhelmingly negative was pretty accurate now first of all I liked Bioware quite a bit. And I mean, they made some of my favorite games. One of my favorite games is Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Obviously, the Mass Effect trilogy. This is a gift that was given to me by my friends Noah and Anne. They did this because I was a huge Mass Effect fan and I loved. Bioware so much that that I just never stopped talking about how amazing Mass Effect's in, entire th trilogy, even the flawed third one with the endings, I, I, I felt something great. Now, I'm not a big fan of Dragon Age, not the story, but I know that a lot of people came to love Dragon Age. And Dragon Age is still one of people's favorite 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 game series and bioware was responsible for also making games like the baldur's gate games so if anything bioware was a great company was a great company was because who they are now are a group of incompetent, uh, mentally stressed, mentally incapable, mentally immature, out of touch, and completely batshit in terms of everything, in terms of communicating with each other, in terms of coming up with an idea in terms of coming up with a story. I mean, it is incredible that a company such as Bioware could rely on dumb luck for their games to be successful. I mean, when you read that article, you're kind of wondering, I, at least I wondered, did they do this with Mass Effect? And they were just lucky that the right leaders were there and the right story and the right writers. And then now that so many people have left, this is what happens. It, it, it really is a story. It, there are so many things that happen during Anthem's development and Mass Effect Andromeda's development that I, I honestly... It just lost all respect for Bioware. Completely lost respect for them. Because they put this out. Part of what they did was lie. They lied to you when they first presented Anthem. And I know that I'm getting ahead of myself, but I need to show you this example so you can understand. Anthem's E3 trailer, the first one, was bullcrap. Most of what was shown there never came to be put into the game. And developers were just finding out about this game. J the concepts of this game, how they were shown, they were finding out the, for the first time, like me. When I saw it, they saw it first. And they were, oh, so that's the game that we're doing. A week before that presentation, 
The game was going to be called Beyond, and then they called it Anthem. And no one in the team knew why it was called Anthem. That's one thing of dozens of things that Jason Schreier's article covers. And it is incredible. It is absolutely incredible to me that a company who has been getting reports of horrible work culture, incompetent leadership, lack of communication, uh, attrition that's crazy, stress leaves, crunch, and this, we're going to get lucky, Bioware magic mentality, it's absolutely insane. This is a studio that wanted Dragon Age Inquisition to fail because they had such a terrible, terrible experience that they wanted this Anthem story to be Dragon Age's story. And, of course, that didn't happen. And it went on to be successful and then it just kept they just kept going we're talking about a studio that had years trying to figure out how and what the game was going to be and then in the last year year and a half that's when they started to make the game this is what happened with Mass Effect Andromeda. And this is what definitely happened to Anthem. They had no idea what they were doing for almost the entirety of the time. This is a, this is a, 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 a studio that had multiple studios. And now they're down to two. And this one Edmonton studio who think they're dicks are the top of the of the top of the fucking pile. The, we're the biggest dicks. And they were treating Austin like crap. Even though they put out Star Wars the Old Republic, an online game. They went to them. Austin went to Edmonton and told them what you were doing we've seen before. You have to listen to us. Edmonton says fuck you. You're not Bioware. They had a failure in Mass Effect Andromeda, and they were looking at a failure in Anthem early on. And they were like this to each other. It's, it's unbelievable. But there it is in the article. 19 current and former developers that worked on Anthem were the ones that told Jason, everything. But believe it or not, Bioware, the developers of this game, minutes after this article went out, without reading it, came out to the, and put out this absolute insult, insult of an article. Of a blog post. Pretty much saying that. They don't tolerate attacks against leaders. Even though that's not what was written in the article. Even if there were some. Members in the higher management staff. That were mentioned. This is not what he did. What baffles me the most. About this response. And I'm going to be talking about it more on Saturday. Is this notion that Bioware pretty much just wants you to think that everything is fine. And that that 11,000 word article is not something that you should, you should take at all serious. And that Anthem is going to be great. And that the fans should just hold on. And that is a fuck you if I've ever heard one. The fact 
that an article can come out and you guys not even read it. And then later, Casey Hudson, your GM, had to come out and say the problems are real. It's, in, it's incredible. It's like you weren't ready for the truth to come out. And instead of looking at yourselves and going, God, yeah, we're fucked up. We need help. This shit needs to stop. Instead, you say that the article was not useful. And that people who talk about our business doesn't do anything to improve us in the future. And that, after reading that, I was completely convinced that Bioware isn't interested in saving themselves. Now, Casey wants to save Bioware, but Casey's one guy. I've seen videos of diehard Bioware fans who make YouTube videos, who have their own channel, completely based on stuff from Dragon Age and Mass Effect and Bioware, period, are saying, I'm not going to support Bioware anymore. They're not going to change. I can't keep giving them money if they're not going to change. This company is on the verge of death. Anthem, I think, kills Bioware. And a lot of people are optimistic. A lot of people think, give it time. I'm sure they're going to turn around with Dragon Age 4. Do you really think so? Do you think that after everything, if you read this article, and you read the Mass Effect Andromeda article, unless things change drastically, like 90 to 95% of things don't change, do you think, honestly, even if you're a Bioware hardcore fan, you honestly see this being something that is going to happen? Do you really think that Dragon Age is going to be okay? Do you think any announcement that they make later down the road, you're going to feel as though Bioware has your back? No. I don't. I don't believe they have my back. I don't believe that they're going to change unless they definitely, most definitely change. So far, Casey Hudson coming out in response, admitting that things did go to shit. But they have to do the changes. They have to. Because if they don't, there is not going to be a Bioware anymore. I'm sure Bioware is going away. I would be reminisce. I don't think that they can bounce back. I don't think that they have the talent to do it. I don't think that they have the leadership to do it. I don't think that they have the talent to do it. I'm sorry. They can't give us a good game anymore. And um, part of me wishes it would just end. Because I don't want to see whatever last remnant piece of Bioware that's left to ruin any other games. Like if they announce Jade Empire, what good will it do? If they do a Knights of the Old Republic game, what good will it do? It's the same team. And if you maintain this Bioware magic mentality, that I think is going to be great in the end, even though we wasted six or seven years of our lives. It's going to be fine. We're Bioware. We can do this. That doesn't work anymore. And that's not how you should be making video games. And I don't think that I want you guys as part of my game collection, if that's going to be it, if this is what you guys are going to do and you're going to lie and you're going to convince us that you're making an incredible game that you codenamed Dylan because it's going to be talked for years 
in years and years to come. Well, Casey, you're right. Anthem is a game that's going to be talked about for years and years. This article by Jason Schreier, I don't have a word to describe it, but I do think it's a wake-up call for the game industry to stop their nonsense. This AAA industry that sucks people in and then spits them out and they're a shell of their former self and they don't want to make games anymore or they're stressed or they have to go to a room and cry. That, that's all in the article. It's, it's incredible. You will hear my reactions on Saturday. I'm aiming to do it at 11 or 12 p.m. Eastern. Keep a lookout of my socials so you guys can see when that's going to happen. And of course, if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, share with your friends, click that little notification bell so you get notified as to when my videos are going to come out. And as always, I do appreciate you guys so much. Part 2 is coming on Saturday through twitch.tv forward slash Pico's Gaming Mind. Link will be down below. And Part 3, as soon as I get my answers from the game developer, I'll be able to give you guys a little more insight as what it is for someone currently working in the gaming industry trying to figure out the things that went wrong in bioware to see if she's experiencing them or if she is at the very least uh, or if she has at the very least dealt with them before so what's it gonna be we'll hope to get those very soon <laughs> but it's um this video is done thank you so much for watching and i do appreciate you guys listening if you guys have any thoughts about what Bioware is now, the future of Bioware or anything, leave it in the comments down below. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. My, game, my name is Vico, and that was my gaming mind. Peace out, everybody.